Police and canine partners can be seen anywhere. Whether you're at a parade, the airport, or even a community event, canine police and their partners are there to help keep the community safe. Trooper Van Bramer has been a part of the canine unit for 12 years. He says the unit is very selective when recruiting a dog to train. Over. Since the 20 weeks of residential training in Cooperstown can be rigorous, but there are breaks in between training. You arrive on Monday and then you leave on Friday. You, you live here all week, you work here all week with your dog. Uh, you know, Friday you go home, you go back to your family and your dog comes with you. But then it's back to work, exploring different rooms that mimic real life scenarios such as detecting an explosive, a drug, a person, or a cadaver around a room or storage items like lockers and cabinets. We'll put uh, dog food, cat food, we'll put peanut butter, dog biscuits. So the dog has got to work through that uh, discrimination, that scent discrimination. He's got to leave that, that odor of peanut butter and he's going to find the actual explosive. Trooper Van Bramer says it's all about repetition while changing the item's location every time. Canine police dogs also do fine and bite or fine and bark scenarios. They are trained to bite, shake, and hold the arm or leg of a suspect and then alert their handler when someone is found. But each person is protected from the pressure of a canine's bite with these special suits. Sometimes come out with some black and blues, but when you're training the dog to kind of engage a, a, a decoy, um, especially new dogs, it's good to have this suit. After successfully completing training, canines are also involved with community programs, so canines can learn social skills and troopers can help inspire the next generation. I think having the visibility in the community, having the dogs engaged with the public, and having the kids see, you know, what we're doing, I think really opens their eyes to like, you know, wow, I can, I can do that one day. and. You know, I want to be a canine handler. Once it's time for retirement, each canine will have the chance to transition from police partner to family pet. I currently have a retired dog at home. She, you know, she lives, you know, in the house. She, you know, she's part of the family and she's a pet and she enjoys the retirement. Reporting in Cooperstown, Tamara Starr, News Channel 13.